A very good morning. It is Monday, September the 6th, 2021. We will start this week with Reading Comprehension. The title of the story is A House of Memories, and this is part one. Happy Monday. How are you this beautiful Monday? The weekend is over and we will start a new week of online classes, videos and Zoom classes. I hope you are all ready for another week. We will start this week with reading comprehension. I do that every Monday. It's again in two parts. So part one we will read today and today we will have vocabulary. Tomorrow we will read part one and part two again and then answer a few questions. Okay, but for now, let's have a look at the date first. Today is Monday, September 6, 2021. And it's already September. Time is going so fast. I wish we could slow it down a bit. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's start with our vocabulary. I have some pictures with it as well. So let's look at our six vocabulary words. You can get your notebook, write the date, Monday, September 6, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's go. Okay, the first three vocabulary words, I already wrote them on the board. Uh, normally I write them together with you, but that takes a lot of time and the videos will be maybe a bit too long. So I write it on the board now. If you copy them in your notebook after we went through the words, you just stop the video, write them in your notebook and then play the video again. Okay, so from now on I will just write the vocabulary on the board first. Okay, good. Number one. Y-O-U-N-G, young, young, you all know this word, it's the opposite of old, right? So you are young, you are eight or nine years old, I am maybe a little bit old, I am 50, so that's the difference, so young, the story is about a young boy, his name is Eddie, so the boy is young and they find some old photographs of his parents. Well, you will read it all later. So that's number one, young. Number two, planks. Planks. P-L-A-N-K-S, planks. What are planks? Planks are made of wood. And I have a picture here of planks. You can see them. You see, those are planks made of wood and you can use it to build a house or a shed or a floor. You can do many things with it or a desk or chairs even. So in the story, the planks are in the attic of the house. The attic will come later. And the planks are in the attic of the house. So it's in the, the roof of the house is made of planks. But you will see that in a minute. Number three. Photographs, photographs, remember, PH sound like F, right? So we don't say photographs, no, we say photographs. PH is F sound, like elephant. We don't say elephant, no, we say elephant, right? So in this word, we have two of those, photographs. P-H-O-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-S Photographs What are photographs? You will see some in the story later. It's just another word for a picture. Right? So now we take a picture with our mobile phone. But before, you take a picture with a camera and there's film inside the camera and you have to bring it to a shop and they make it into a photograph. So that's the difference. So one more time. Young. Planks, photographs. Just stop the video, copy the words, and then play the video again. 
Okay, three more. Number four, attic. Number five, leather. And number six, insulation. Okay, let me first show you what an attic is. I'm going to go to this side. If you have a house, for example, like this, that is the third floor, and a roof. So this is downstairs, right? Here's the living room and the kitchen. And upstairs you have the bedrooms. And then here is also a room. Now that is called the attic. So, the attic is usually used to store stuff that you don't need, you put in the attic, right? So it's more like a storage area. So that is the attic of a house, A-T-T-I-C. In the story, Eddie will go to the attic and he's never been there before. So, to get to the attic, he has to use a L-A-D-D-E-R, ladder. Now, a ladder is like this, right? It's like this. And you can climb up the ladder to go to the attic. In the story, there is a better picture of the ladder, so you can see one in the story. So that's a ladder. And then this one, I N S U L A T I O N, insulation. Insulation. Okay, where I come from, insulation is very common. We have it everywhere. And I will show you what insulation is. I have a picture. I hope you can see it. Look, you see this man? He is putting like foam, like fluffy blankets between the wood. Now that is called insulation. That's called insulation. Why does he put it there? In Thailand, no need, because in Thailand it's never really cold. But in my country, in the winter, it is very cold. Now there is ice, there is snow. And to keep the house warm, you put this insulation. You put it in the attic, but also in the walls of the house. So the warm air stays inside and the cold air stays outside. So that is insulation. Okay, so when Eddie goes up to the attic, he sees for the first time also insulation. And in his house it's pink and also fluffy. Okay, but we read that later in the story. So okay, number four, attic, A-T-T-I-C. Number five, ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R. And number six, insulation, I N S. U L A T I O N. Okay? Okay, underline when you're finished. You can pause the video, finish copying it, underline, and then play the video again. Okay, so the story for today is about a little boy and his mother and father. And the title is a house of memories. So Eddie is a little boy, maybe about your age, maybe a bit younger, and his parents are moving to another house. And Eddie really doesn't like it because he likes his old house and he likes his toys and he likes the back garden with all his swings and stuff. But he doesn't have a choice, so Eddie has to move. So, we will read the first part of what's happening and how sad Eddie is and then tomorrow we read the second part and then you will see that Eddie is actually okay with the move. Okay, so let's start reading the first part. Please everybody read along. I will read it with you. I will read it slowly and clearly and I hope you do the same and then tomorrow we do the second part. But Let's start with part one. Okay, so let's read together. Read along with me. We will read it slowly. Try to pronounce all the words correctly. Okay, are you ready? 
So the title of the story is A House of Memories. Let's read. Eddie does not like cleaning, but over the past few days, he has had to stuff his old toys into garbage bags and the new ones into boxes. He dusts out all dried up clay, puzzles he once glued together, plush animals and more. Eddie's family is about to move to a new house and they need their home clean for the next family who will live in it. Won't they want our stuff? Eddie asked his mother. Who wouldn't want toys? Mother laughed a little bit and said, <laughs> They'll bring their own toys, she answered. Come on, Eddie, we are nearly done. All that's left to clean is the attic. Remember the word attic from the vocabulary? You see there a picture of an attic. Eddie looked around his home. Without any furniture, the house looked big empty and strange. It made Eddie feel a little sad. He liked his house and his friends and he did not really want to move. Eddie followed his mother to the foot of the rickety ladder that led to the attic. Eddie's father was already up there looking through boxes of old photographs. One step at a time, please. This letter is older than me, Eddie's mother warned. Eddie carefully climbed up the ladder. At the top, Eddie was surprised to find a big, dark and dusty room. The ceiling was slanted and the floor was made of rows of wooden planks with strange pink fluff in between the planks. You'll have to walk on the wooden beams, Eddie's father said from deep in the room. The pink stuff between the beams is called insulation. If you step on that, you fall through the floor and wind up in the kitchen. With the help of his mother, Eddie balanced on a wooden beam and slowly walked through the attic. He reached his father, who handed Eddie a small and dusty picture. Look at the picture there, a little boy in like a toy car. It did not have much color left, but showed a young boy driving a toy car in his backyard. Is this me when I was younger? Eddie asked. That's me, Eddie, when I was your age, his father replied. I found it in one of these old boxes. Okay, let's read the story one more time and then Tomorrow we will read part two. Okay, that is all for today. It would be really good if you read it one or two times more. And then tomorrow we will do part two. So, see you for tomorrow for part two. But first I will see you in the afternoon for our math class. So, see you later.